Hey guys, I'm Logan. We're up to Season 5, Episode 7 of Bones. Here we go. That's not funny. That's not funny. Jesus. Hey, who's who's, right? who's uh, that guy? Legendary shot, man. Excuse me. Oh. Obviously got the wrong guy. What the hell? That's... That is odd. What are you? FBI shrink? Friend? Ooh. Objective observer. Ooh. Oh, 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 you want to know my primary role? Okay, well that depends upon a number of factors. Sweet. Plain language. So FBI first, me second. No, 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 Agent Booth. That's not what I meant. Okay, sweet. Okay. Damn. You just called me Agent Booth. That says it all, Doctor Sweet. You know I learned the importance of vocabulary choices from you, and I gotta go catch him. Damn. Booth. How did you mess that up? How did you? Why are you crying lines? I've noticed in the past when you're grumpy. He's not happy. Tell me about it. Maybe this is all because of my brain tumor. Uh, Mizey, Mizey. I mean, you might just... Your brain tumor is temporal parietal. Perhaps you should speak to sweets. Meaning what? This is psychological? No, I, I can't talk to sweets. Yeah, because he works for the FBI. He's in the long so bureau room. I'm all loopy, doopy, doopy. I can't handle it. Same hole? Oh, no thanks. I already got one. That's it over there, big sucker. No, let's not do that right now, Officer Navarro. All business <laughs> FBI, I guess. Then why are we here? Where's the body? The bones people, right? We've got bones. How many? That oh. is very interesting. Is it a kid? Oh, you mean because of the small stature? No. Dentition oh. indicates the late 20s. Male. That's a screen. That would be a priority, Bones. Ugh. Gold coin. What? Hey, Bones. Oh. Hey. Oh. Look at that, Bones. You are at the end of a beautiful rainbow. Rainbow. Where I am is at the bottom of a muddy pit. Okay, think about it. End of a rainbow. Little green guy, gold coins. They're saying it's a leprechaun? You. Tells me leprechaun. Are you praying? Oh, Same thing. Really. Are those bones not oddly it's small, though? Lab, right? Leprechauns are thought to explode if you touch them with a broom. A. These remains show no signs of being exploded, and B. That's because it is. I think you can guess B. There are no such things as leprechauns. This is good. We're developing a shorthand. Dwarfism. Indeed. Well, that yeah, no makes sense. Because bones are green. I'm gonna go with two to five months. So we Damn. have some death, if not cause. I had that leprechaun end up buried 20 feet under the street, wearing only his knickers. The most likely scenario is that he was murdered and tossed in a storm drain, service tunnel, or sewer. His right shoulder was dislocated. Congruent with having been dragged. Yep. As a literal dead weight, yes. Cool. Firing two Brandina, one duck, one rabbi rat. Oh, and one of the Brandinos is without potato, but it's a customer's lost. Oh my god. Oh my god. As a matter of fact, yes. Chef Gordon Gordon Wyatt has more of a ring to it than Dr. Gordon Gordon Wyatt. Careful with those morels. Oh my god. $60 a pound. Chef, I need some advice. Is this something to do with the jumbling the old pig boggled noggin got last year? That's what I think. Uh, maybe I can just pretend like I'm a recipe that needs fixing. Ooh, I think that's right. You're just me. <laughs> worse, a blow like this would knock the victim unconscious. Good find, Mr. Nigel Murray. Well done. Because of death. A super strong dwarf, such as might be found in the Lord of the Room. The victim has all of the occupational markers of a wrestler. Oh, a midget oh wrestler. But midget is not the proper term. As a scientist, you should be aware. It may <coughs> not be the proper term, Dr. Brennan, but I can assure you, correct or not, midget wrestling is an American pastime. As wrong as that may be. <laughs> I'm into What's WWE, that's it. Wrestling around all. The distinct curvature of the Of course, it's the one with the mask. Then it seems our leading contender is the Iron Leprechaun. So it was of a leprechaun course. after all. But I'm fairly certain that Iron Leprechaun is not his actual name, but only his wrestling name. Probably not. Perhaps this Iron Leprechaun will be aware of someone else who looked exactly like him disappearing. <laughs> 
spend the rest of unless the he's gone. Yeah, let's and they can't find. Yeah. He's supposed Some to be wrestling like tonight, but he's not well, here. Uh, Brennan found a Chinese panda right beside the body. Now within three meters, I found Chinese four Krugerrands, a French rooster, Frank, a gold Indian head, and a Canadian Ooh. maple leaf. I it's know the gold lot. Indian. Now the rooster alone. Hey, thank you, Sandy. It's worth about four hundred bucks. Oh. It's loaded and unfired. It could belong to our victim, hmm. or could have been tossed in the sewer twenty years ago. Love Let it. me know if you find something special. So it's either relevant or irrelevant. None of these adjustments strike me as being particularly. It's. Uh, it, I mean. Um, it's video. small stuff. You'll get better. Hopefully. Uh oh. The only time I ever fired a weapon, it reared up and struck me on the forehead. I need to help me fire my gun. That sounds desperately fine. Is this going to be a... Don't even put that out in the air. You're Gordon Gordon. Come on, help me out. Gordon Gordon. All right, I'll, I'll tag along and I'll see what I think. Oh, cool. Chef, all right? It seemed rather a picayune detail to you, but it's quite meaningful for me. Is there anything else you noticed? Why are you asking Bob? Well, she spends more time with you than you know. <laughs> Is that a bumblebee? Hey, Bob, do you want me to go up and tell the poor guy he's dead or she'll lie? He's just a bit vigorous and dead decatory. That's him, in the poster? Yeah. Oh. That's not. Alright, we just get off my back. I'm really starting to lose my poop. Dang! Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, sweet. Dr. Gordon Gordon Wyatt. Well, Chef Gordon Gordon Wyatt, as a matter of fact. Agent Booth left my office and immediately went to you, didn't he? No, I'm, I'm alright with it. There have been a few changes. Well, seems to bring to you, man. Yeah. No, no, I'm all right with it. <laughs> trust me. Has he also told you about how now when he climbs stairs, he leads with his right foot rather than his left? He holds his phone to a different ear, coffee in his left hand. How wretchedly observant of you. Not me. Dr. Brennan. Would you like to accompany me? That's me. Double team by a psychologist <laughs> and a chef. It'll be epic. My name's Todd Moore. Then who's this? I am leprechaun. I'm gonna be on a leprechaun's there. Is that one? That's the guy from Pirates of the Caribbean. Took over when the last round. Right? I took a powder. When was that? About three. He doesn't have the facial hair. What's this one's name? That's gotta be him. Well, I'm sorry to say, your predecessor. No way. We found his body at the bottom. Is it really? Bryce is dead. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Tori explains why he failed on a sweet gig. Well, I was there when they. No way. Hold on. Do you know That's him! Benefit from ah! benefit oh from my music. god, that's awesome! Bryce was the eye on a pecan. I love parts of the camera. <laughs> Come on, we had a thing. Got old. I moved on. I gotta be a suspect, right? We don't like to come right out and say that. Well, I know I am because Bryce was suing me. Oh, oh. Well, what was he suing for? You know, men, something goes wrong in the heart department, it always shows itself in another way. You know Bryce had a criminal past, right? Yeah, he was in prison. Was that assault, like a, a robbery? What can I say? Like a shot at booth? For the bad boy. Unknowingly? Do you? No, I prefer good boys. Really? Yeah. So, uh, you, uh, <laughs> did you know if Bryce defunct him? Oh. Of course not, he was on parole. Sweet little pistol came up missing right about the same time. Oh. We might have that. Oh, they are related. Yeah, uh, Oh no. It's just I would suggest that what really chuffs your ex Damn. is that in his hour of need, Booth turned to me for advice instead of you. But Booth couldn't go to see you because your first duty is to the FBI. He does trust you implicitly. Obviously not. He came to you, right? A chef. But the point is he would never do anything that would compromise your professional obligations. He's too fond of you. True. Sure. He came to me knowing that I would consult with you. Is I, right to do I, now, I think so. I mean, 
He believes that his brain condition has rendered him incapable of hitting the broadside of a barn with his firearm. I look forward to consulting with you on the strange case of the man here enough to refer to as Agent B. Agent B. Yes. You know what I said about the eggs? Mm. Doesn't extend to the potatoes. Oh. Frozen. Positive identification on the victim. The potatoes. Apparently, Mr. DeFonte was somewhat violent before channeling his aggression more productively. Fine. Why are you, why are you, are you signing so many things? I'm searching for cause of death. Very good. What else do these next What are you signing for? That's the third time. Were you aware that Marilyn Monroe had six toes on one foot? Keep looking, Mr. What? Is that true? <laughs> no, I was not. <laughs> no? About the other night when I came to your office. Enough said, enough said, said the blind man to the deaf man. Yeah, I'd been jealous too if it worked out the other way and I got the short stick. No pun intended. Damn. That's not funny, Agent Biff. I'm gonna try helping write <laughs> some of the jobs. Bryce testified against his cellmate in return for parole. Who is the cellmate? It's Bryce. I'm stupid, Nicole. Probably got him killed. Oh, that's that's motive. That's motive. It's definitely motive. You look like a substitute teacher in a fry cook. <laughs> a fry cook. We're not cops, we're professional interrogators. Nobody's a fry cook. Fry this guy was in Lucifer, I think. Here to rough you up. Paid my debt to society, got a job, road construction. Yep. Did you ever work in the Cleveland Park area? Why? Because that's where your former cellmate was discovered. 20 feet under the roadway. Well, I didn't put him there. Hey, look. Bryce told him where to find my Bruno and Dough stash, okay? That's, that's small beans. Three days in solitary. You know, I'm gonna kill him for that. All right, all right. Some people might. Me and Bryce could have like pissed someone off. Okay. There's no chance I was Make getting someone angry earlier than my full sentence. Believe me, Defonte wanted out. Oh, everyone in prison wants out. Yeah. And I like Bryce. He's talking about escape. You know, he was highly motivated. So was. So he had other. What you think? He had other things. And his lady loved saying that she was thinking about calling it quits on him. Oh. The least I could do for my buddy. Nobody waiting on me on the outside. Okay. My psychic says that Brennan and Booth are linked in a very profound way. In order to eat that thing, you're going to have to dislocate your jaw like an articulated python. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that. It's like he's sort of sad. Ooh. Mm. Booth's confronted his mortality plenty of times. That's, yeah, that's I true. I think that that dream he had about him and Brennan being married, I think that he sort of misses that dream. It's like he's homesick for that place and those people. Interesting. You think Boone fell in love with Dr. Brennan during the dream? So do you. Right? Well, I'm, I'm a psychiatrist. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with ice cream. No. You're a chef. <laughs> uh, as usual, you, you see the truth of things. <laughs> oh! That's just you can't. You know, you're really gonna have to learn to enjoy things the way that they are. Just squish it together as best you can. 150 years worth of rubble. That's a word I loathe. Half naked dwarf wrestler gets killed and his body gets that dumped. That looks from terrible. A hole in the ground. It collapsed in the 30s. They just threw some rocks into it and paved it over. Well, that seems what you're supportive. You think that the leprechaun's body was in that pedestrian underpass where St. Paul died? Wait, so you're he saying he could have killed him? Maybe another 20 no, wait, no. No, because he was dramatic. Cash for gold. That could have been it. This place got robbed. He did have gold. Of fourth century to the doors of windows. Oh, he stole. The inside. Bad guys got off with bags of gold coins. What did they lose? Oh, uh, 120 grand worth. I think I found the point of ingress. Whoa! You gotta be kidding. Just thinking about it, I can't breathe. The handle of the sketch shows the collapsed pedestrian walkway comes five feet from the strain. Wow. The victim was small and strong, he could have dug his way through. That could have easily been what, 16, 18 inches? Oh, we found were eight gold coins. Oh, yeah. Classic accomplice ripoff scenario. No honor between thieves. What, I'm not allowed to chime in? I'm a law enforcement professional. 
I mean, I, he's not wrong, but. <laughs> Could he have been stabbed? With what? The world's dullest knife. But perhaps something along the lines of a very dull hatchet. Surely he would have had the full thought to bring a more suitable weapon. Like a gun. Or a giant sword. Well, like, he did bring it. Or a gun. Gun. But the killer would have had to have been an incredibly bad shot. One bullet fired from above, grazing these three ribs, deflecting, piercing the diaphragm. It's blood to death from bullets. Oh. I found cause of death. Oh. Yeah, there's some collateral damage to Booth's brain here. Uh, I don't think Booth has brain damage. What's his problem? Could it be inward? Why you didn't publish your book on Booth? But is there a connection between my book and Booth's marksmanship? You're afraid that if our Brennan and Booth would react to its conclusion. My book concludes that Brennan and Booth are in love with each other. Oh! As a reaction to the childhood traumas of abuse and abandonment, Dr. Not wrong. utilizes her intellect to armor herself from intense levels of emotion like love. Yes! From Booth? Yes! Well, subconsciously. He just publish the book. Her vulnerability. Acting upon his feelings for her would amount to a kind of assault. I couldn't agree with you more. Booth not shooting straight is simply what, a manifestation of his phallic frustration. You know, he quite literally um, can't bring his weapon to bear. Hmm. Do I even have the right to publish my book and make public what these two can't even admit to themselves? No. Oh. Don't ask me. I'm just a chef. I keep saying it. Everyone knows I gave them. up that game precisely so I didn't have to face that kind of damage. <laughs> Just do it, dude. Just do it. Just allow everybody to, to finally realize it. Wait, so we were shot with something else? Shooting problems? You might simply be getting older. I, men do tend to decline physically past the age of 35. Well, remind me again how uh, great I feel after talking to you. Well, who else would also tell you the truth? Yeah, you know, it does make me feel better. <laughs> it makes no rational sense, but it does. Maybe I should start packing heat again. Packing heat? Packing heat. Yes, it's a colloquialism. I, I'm quite a good shot. And the six tons of crap Hodgins hasn't sent it through yet. Wait, wait a second. Did you just call for the evidence crap? Yeah. Again. What do you think? Fair enough. You're, you're really... Yeah. Well, I'm working on it. And She's Josh definitely right adapting. Too. Adapting. <laughs> adapting. Adapting. Yeah. Second guessing the things that are coming out of my mouth. Bryce and I had a thing. Is that the gun that was used to kill Bryce? Uh, no, but it was nearby. Then yeah. That's my pistol. You gave it to him because you worried about his safety. Ooh. Not exactly the worrying type. She's either masking emotional pain or overcompensating for guilt. Maybe you should tell sweets. What's your theory on why Agent Booth can no longer shoot? Oh, boy. He should practice more. <laughs> Perhaps. You should practice more. A real marksman keep both eyes open when they shoot. Oh. Oh, that's what I get for using quickly. Yeah, I, would, yeah, I was so confused there for a second. <laughs> Sweets told you about the hands and the feet? I won't tell Boo. That You're not sniping. The FBI behind his back. Ratting it's out just... is an accurate phrase, but somehow it doesn't seem true. Sometimes you have to help people against their wishes. I can't think of anything I wouldn't do to help them. Oh. Can we eat this in, please? Who's in it with him? I don't know. That typically is normally not sketchy. All I know is that Bryce broke it off with me. Said he had to get serious with somebody else. Said I wasn't enough woman for him. That could mean multiple uh, things. The murder victim told Gidget that she wasn't enough woman for him. So? Oh, so it suggests that while in jail, your victim was pining for an average sized woman. That's what I thought about, but it could have also been. The victim's brother said that they were strange. And the victim's brother's wife is an average sized woman, isn't she? You want us to handle this? She was fighting back a little bit. Oh. 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 I found Bryce. Could be the partner right there. He got out of the other end and was shot. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is it that somebody would do something mm -hmm. like that? How long were you and Bryce seeing each other behind the husband's back? Oh, that's just messed up. Since always, I wrote Bryce in prison, and I told him that we had to stop. He begged me to choose him. 
That's just a mess. Oh. To get me to himself, he had to be a better provider than his brother. If you've been in love with another man for 10 years, your husband knows. If I knew Bryce was stealing, I would have begged him to stop. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> School wrestling. So that's oh. got to be the victim's, right? This is not the victim's ring. Chondroplasia causes metaphysical cupping at the joints, resulting in large knuckles. Too, too, too big. large for that. Well, Whose ring is this? The brothers. Who went to the same high school at the same time, played the same sport. The brother. Could, could he have known? Look at this. Yeah, well, this is what we do. This is the best. And just like this. He knew a lot more than he thought. You thought the two of you were working together, but you knew why he wanted the money. When you shot oh. your brother, the force partially dislocated his shoulder. The oh. bullet traveled to the torso in a fatal trajectory, grazing three ribs. And you pushed him back into the tunnel, foot to face. But he pulled off your ring. Why? Let's go more exactly why. Why? Wow. When you were in a coma, you got a glimpse of another wound. Right, and how does that help me aim my gun? <clears throat> You're in love with her. You're building a world around her. A family. We're not compatible. <laughs> she sees the world one way, I see it. No, no of course, it's absolutely ludicrous, the idea of you two together. But she doesn't love me. I would know if she loved me. May I count some patience on this front? See how he like kept but my marksmanship certification. We're not compatible. Compatible. Yes. She doesn't love me. Be like, a man. Nothing Stop. about him She's personally. Take Doctor into this some this shooting event. You won't fail in front of her. Trust me. Could you do me a favor? Yes, as long as it does not involve me shaving my head. <laughs> <laughs> you are making a joke. I'm becoming quite amusing. Yes, you are. It's very funny. That makes Honestly, sense. No. Will you do me a favor? Yes. As yes. long as I don't have to shave my head. <laughs> a little <laughs> advice on the humor. Once the joke happens, don't dogpile on it. Do try these amuse bouche Abide by my exhortations to joie de vivre. <laughs> Love is calm. Is she there? Yes! yes. <laughs> Oh, he got it. Yeah. Yes. She's she's the answer. <laughs> Well done. Um, I feel like we keep making small progress, and then we make a big old leap, and then it's back to small progress, or or it, we backtrack. That this was huge. This was big. Now what's next? Where are we gonna go with this next episode? Where are we gonna go with the episode after that? Are we are we gonna make a good old leap, and then? Or baby steps. Like, how, how is this going to go? Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. We will see. See you all next time.